Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This will be a 14 part video series showing you how to create JTS House. Let's get started. So let's start here by clicking on new and then click on architecture template and then press OK. So let's go to our south elevation and then we're going to change the name for level 1. So just click on here and then let's change this to ground floor. After that, click on level 2 and this will be second floor. And then let's click here for our ground floor and you can type in CO or click on copy under modify. So I'm going to type in CO and then I'm going to click on the level again and drag it down. I'm going to type in 3000 and then after that. Let's change this to basement. For the ground floor to second floor, we're going to change this to 3000 as well. And then this is already highlighted or clicked. So I'm just going to type in CO or click this icon, the copy command. And then Pull it up and type in 3000 again. This will be our roof. And then click on copy again. And around 2500 for now. This will be the top roof. So this will this can change depending on our design for the roof so you can now press escape and then escape again so now i'm just going to add in some dimensions so that everybody is clear so from basement to ground floor that's 3000 from ground floor to second floor that's 3000 again for our second floor to roof that will be 3000 as well. And then from roof to top roof, 2500. And you know what? I'm just going to drag this so that we could see our levels name. Okay. So now everything is clear. Let's go back to our ground floor. <coughs> but as you can see here, it, our floor plans is not appearing yet. So what you have to do is you need to go to view and then go to 3D view or sorry, plan views and click on floor plan. And we're going to highlight everything by holding on shift and clicking on the top roof. So everything is highlighted and then you just need to click on OK. Once you do that, as you can see, everything is showing here. You can now click on ground floor again. And we're going to start here by going to architecture. You can click this icon grid or type in GR. We're going we're gonna to click below here, going up. So this is our first grid. You want to make sure that you are 90 degrees. So now everything is lined up like that. You can down press escape. And what we have to do is we need to click the grid number one again. 
you can type in CO or click on this icon. Make sure that multiple is checked so that we could add in multiple grid lines. And you want to make sure that you need to click this so that you need to pull this away. So our first dimension will be from one on the right side will be 3780. Second to third will be 985. And the last one, 3 to 4, will be 3540. You will then press escape to finish the command. Now let's create our horizontal grid line. So type in GR or click that icon. Click on the right side first, going left side. So we're going to add one first. Press escape two times and then click on the bubble. We're going to change this to a letter. So once you do, click on the space around here just to finish. Press escape again. And now we're just visualizing everything. Click grid A. And then type in CO to copy. Grab that. And then pull it down. Our first dimension will be from A to B, that will be 40, 65. Next will be from B to C, that would be 40, 10. But as you can see, I'm not 90 degree so I'm just gonna press escape click it back type in CO grab it again make sure this is 90 and then type in 40 10 another one would be from C to D that would be five nine Four zero. Press escape and then escape again. What we're going to do is we're just going to nudge this one on the right side and below so that it's centered. So you could use your arrow key on your keyboard. So I'm just nudging it. Press escape and then escape. What we're going to do now is we're just going to click on this grid line. And as you can see, it's showing that there are um, broken lines indicating that you can grab one and everything will follow. So as you can see, it will follow. So we're just going to clean up a little bit here. So around here is good enough. Let's move this one a little bit there. And the top one is good as well. Press escape. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in dimension. So everybody will know what we did. So here I'm just using this. So it's DI. And then we will need to add in the overall dimension like that. So all the grid line first and then overall after. Okay. 
what I don't like is the bubble is overlapping two and three. So what you have to do is click on the bubble and then move it up like that. As you can see, even though it has some broken line, it didn't um, go up with the same as one, two, and four. So just drag it up like that. After that, if you check below, you will need to just drag this one down so that it will be leveled on everything. Press escape. And now as you can see, everything is showing up like that. So I'm just double checking everything. So next thing we're going to do is let's create the exterior wall. So I'm going to click on wall and I'm going to use the basic generic 200 millimeters. So even the 150 you can use, 250 you can use, but not the ones that with CMU or field or masonry. So basically the 200 millimeters generic is the one that is without any materials included. Even this one, it comes with materials. So I'm just gonna use this. And our exterior wall thickness will be around 150. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press edit type. We're gonna duplicate this because we want to rename it as exterior wall number one. Press OK and edit the type or the assembly. And we're going to change the thickness right here to 150. And then for materials, let's use brick first. So I'm going to use brick. So use the brick common. Press OK and then OK again. So once you're already at escape there, as you can see, we did basic wall exterior wall number one. I want to make sure that this is wall center line chain is checked, but this one should be connected to the second floor. So our base constraint will be ground floor and there our top will be second floor. So now we're going to click on A number one. So A and then number one, that will be our first. Going all the way to A4. Going down first. So let's click on D4. And then you want to press escape on that. And then escape again. The reason for that is we're going to pull this back. So now we're going to pull it back around 400. So I'm going to zoom it here. Click on this one. And then we're going to drag this one around like that. As you can see, there's a uh, temporary dimension that appeared from this center line up to the face of the wall. So I'm gonna click on here and I'm gonna type in 400. So now at least I know that I pull it back 400. So we're gonna flip, uh, press escape. And what you can do as well, instead of clicking wall, if you know that you're going to reuse this wall. So I'm going to reuse the exterior wall again. You can type in CS. So CS is meaning is create similar. As you can know, as you can see, it's grayed out right now. But if we go to just modify, you can see if we click on the wall, it will appear 
and then you can also click it here but the keyboard shortcut is CS and once you do you will be able to add walls furnitures back again So it's very helpful. So here, I want to zoom it out again. So we're going to go up to grid line number 3. And then go down to D3. So that's what happened here. And then now, what we're going to click next is D1. But we're going to press escape again. It's because we're going to drag it again. So we're going to give it 600. So I'm going to drag it here. And then we could just add so for the dimension here is 4780 plus 600. That will be 5380. So you can also click it here. But you want to make sure that this is from grid line number 3 and up to the face of the wall. So 5380, enter. And as you can see, it extended a little bit on the grid number one. Press escape. You can click this one again and then type in CS, create similar. This is the icon. Continue on the wall. Once you go to grid line number or letter C, you click it there and then you go back to C1. So C1 and then now go back to A1 to finish off. And then press escape and then escape again. So now we finish adding the exterior wall. So let's finish here for now and continue on the next video. Thank you for watching and I hope you liked the video. Please hit like and subscribe. Feel free to comment down below.